Hi, Mom. Hi, Robert. Happy Tuesday, you two. Robert, my friend, I hope you start to feel better soon. It is breaking my heart that I don't get to see you in person. So I hope you are on the mend very quickly and I can see you for Thursday. But let's get started with the Go Noodle Flow. Here we go. Melting, melting, melting. We all have those moments when we freeze. We can't move, we can't think. But with practice, we can get good at melting that frozen feeling. Let's freeze up and then melt. Stand up in a spot with a little space around you. Cross your arms and hold your shoulders with your hands. Carefully tuck your chin down and in. Tighten as many muscles in your body as you can. Let your body be frozen like an ice statue. Feet tight, legs tense, belly tight, shoulders up. Now, even make a frozen face. Close your eyes, your mouth, your jaw, tight. Feeling frozen? Really still? Now, little by little, begin to melt. Let your chin stay low as your face softens and melts. Your jaw opens slightly, your eyes blink open, just a little. Your mouth and cheeks melt and feel soft. You are melting. Let your shoulders melt and go down. Hands let go. Arms glide down to your sides, melting. Let your legs melt too, soften and bend, melt. Try to melt all the way to the floor. Down, down, down. Let yourself be a blob, a puddle on the floor. Ah, melted all the way to soft. Exhale, long. Once frozen and tight, and now melted a little more at ease. Let's do it again. This time, choose your own frozen statue. Be creative. Freeze your arms. Freeze your legs. Freeze your face. Make a funny face if you'd like. Freeze there. Tighten. Freeze, freeze, freeze. You're frozen. Close your eyes or keep them open. Stay frozen for just one more moment. Ready to melt? One icy part of you at a time begins to melt. Face, eyes, jaw, head, chin goes down, shoulders drop, fingers soften and droop, hands too, arms float down. You are melting. Let your legs allow you to melt down to the floor. Melt, 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 droop, settle, and rest. Melt it. Try to feel at ease here. Soft. Check in on your body. Is any area still frozen? Notice that tightness. Melt it if you wish. Rest here. Breathe. Eyes are open or closed. Next time you feel frozen, in your mind or in your body, try to melt it away. All right, buddy, we're going to roll right into one more. We're going to do one more thing to get y'all warmed up and ready for work. We're going to do your fist hand, flat hands. You're going to be kind of like holding hands with mom for a little bit, which is probably one of your favorite things. Here you go, bud.
Brain a size with Mr. Catman. Fist and flat. Meow. Mr. Catman and Miss Doggy Breath are doing the can can. They are so full of talent. Partner up like Mr. Catman and Miss Doggy Breath. Partner one, put one hand out with your palm facing your partner and make a fist with your other hand. Partner two, place a fist on top of partner one's flat hand and put a flat hand underneath partner one's fist. Clawsome. Now switch hand shapes. Partner one, turn your flat hand into a fist and your fist into a flat hand. Partner two, turn your fist into a flat hand and your flat hand into a fist. You got it. Flat fist, fist flat. Flat fist, fist flat. Say that three times fast. Perhaps you need to go slower or faster. Pretty soon you'll be able to do this forever. Practice makes perfect for real. Meow. All right, buddy, let's get into the hard work now. We're gonna jump into our letters and numbers, so please make sure you have your paint bag with you. Here we go, sir. We're gonna start with those numbers. We're gonna start with the number one. Remove one counter for one Robert Bercy with one nose, one mouth, one heart, the number one. The next one, we're gonna move our one, two counters for your two eyes, two ears, two lungs that help you breathe. <sighs> we're gonna move one, two, three counters because aliens and Robert Percy sometimes have one, two, three of something. Next one, the number four, we're gonna move one, two, three, four counters for our one, two hands and our three, four feet. Next one, we're gonna move one, two, three, four, five counters, and give mom a big high five, which is one of our favorite things. Let's get to tracing, buddy. Get that paint bag out. We're gonna trace the number one for one Robert Bercy with one nose, one mouth, one heart, one. We just do a straight line down. Just do a straight line down. The next one, for our two eyes, two ears, two lungs that help us breathe, we're gonna do the two by doing curve up, diagonal down, put a line across the bottom. Curve up. Diagonal line down, little line across the bottom. Next one is that number three for our aliens and Robert Percy sometimes have one, two, three of something. We're gonna do curve line, meet in the middle. Curve line, meet in the middle. Let's try it again. Curve line, meet in the middle. Curve line, meet in the middle. For the three, because the aliens and Robert Percy sometimes have three of something. Next one is that number four when we take our one, two hands and our three, four feet. That gives us the number four. We're gonna do one little line down, one little line across, and one big line connecting the two. One little line down, one little line across, one big line connecting the two. The next one is that number five for the high five. We're gonna do one little line across the top, one little line going down, and a big circle around the bottom. Let's try it again. One little line across the top, one little line going down, and that big circle around the bottom. Very good, buddy. You should have been practicing with your paint bag. Make sure you also practice tracing on your iPad apps. Count them out one more time. We move one counter for one Robert Bercy with one nose, one mouth, one heart, one. We move one, two counters for two eyes, two ears, two lungs that help us breathe. We move one, two, three counters because aliens and Robert Bercy sometimes have one, two, three of something. The next one, we move one, two, three, four counters for our one, two hands and our three, four feet. And the last one, we move one, two, three, four, five counters and give mom that big high five. Great job, buddy. Let's get this reset up for you guys. We're gonna jump into our letters. So get that paint bag back. Make sure that when we're finished with this lesson or pause it right now to make sure you practice tracing on your paint bag and on your iPad apps. But we are ready to jump into our letters. Almost, Dora's in the way.
All righty. Here we go. The letter R for ru 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 Robert. The letter R. Now we do the O, the A uh, 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 for ra, uh, uh, Robert. The next one is that B, the B B B B B B B B and ra ba 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 Bert. The next one's your two for your E and your R that come together to make that er 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 sound and Robert er er er. And the last one is your caboose, the t t, -t and Robert T R O B. E R T R O V E R T. That spells my favorite guy, Robert. Good job, buddy. Let's trace them all out. Very first one, the rough, 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 and rough, rough, Robert. When we trace the letter R, we do one straight line down, one circle at the top, and a little diagonal coming down. One straight line, one circle at the top, and a little diagonal coming down. The next one is that ah, 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 the O, oh, the ah, 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 and ra, ah, ah, Bert is the easy peasy. Circle around, circle around, circle around, circle around. Good job, my friend. The next one is that letter B, that ba 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 b and ra ba 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 bert. We do one straight line down, one circle that meets in the middle, and another circle that meets in the middle. That one straight line down, the one circle that meets in the middle, the other circle that meets in the middle. Good job. The next part is our two fur. The er 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 sound starts with the letter E. It's lots of lines, one straight line down and three little lines across. One straight line down and three little lines across. The second part of our two fur for the er, er, er sound is another R, just like at the beginning. One straight line down, one circle at the top, one little line coming, one little diagonal coming down. So one straight line, one circle at the top, and a little line coming down. The last part is the T, the T, 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 T for Robert T. We do one little line across the top, one straight line down. One little line across the top, one straight line down. Perfect. So please make sure that you practice these on your paint bag and your iPad. Very good, buddy. Let's now listen to our number song. Here it goes. This unforgettable vacation memory. It didn't actually begin here. This memory began when Dad booked his family's summer vacation. The Singing Walrus. Counting from one to ten.
All right, my friend, good stuff, good stuff. This would be the time now to pause, pause this, or at the end, to make sure you spend five minutes on the app on your iPad doing counting or tracing with your numbers. We downloaded an alphabet one for before and now a number one. So spend five minutes by either pausing the video now and doing it or at the end. Next thing up, we're going to listen to another ice cream story called Ice Cream Bear. Here we go. Grammarly helps you work more efficiently, which makes accomplishing your work goals easier. Get full sentence rewrite suggestions to help you say what you mean faster. Download at Grammarly.com. should fix that broken pane. It dribbles drops of snow in rain. But jobs like that are always kept till after Lazy Bear has slept. He dreams of slipping out the back. to fetch himself an icy snack. But what a shock when he gets there. The ice cream's gone, the cupboard's bare. Robbed, I've been robbed, as he turns and starts to shout. A pile of snow falls on his snout. At least, that is, he thinks it's snow. It feels too thick and sticky, though. And tastes of sugar. Can it mean that it's snowing blobs of white ice cream? It's twice as nice as snow or ice. It's Bear's idea of paradise. Before he tries to eat it all, he makes himself a little ball. then rolls it into something grand. The largest ice cream in the land. But suddenly it starts to slip. And Bear begins to lose his grip. Now it's time without delay to make a speedy getaway. He sees a rock too late to dodge, rolls over once and watch out. Splodge. Ice cream, he screams. Ice cream, ice cream. Thank heavens, it was all a dream. Now he does not hesitate. The household chores will have to wait. Broken windows should be fixed, but work and pleasure can't be mixed. I 
hope you enjoyed that story. If you would like to see these books uploaded daily, go ahead and subscribe. All Don't right, forget to check friend. out. Let's check out your craft for the day. You are adding another layer to your ice cream cones. You're just going to be creating or decorating one of these um, ice cream scoops that you have in your bag and you're decorating it with pipe cleaners. So mom, you can just use that hot glue, I would suggest, because um, the fabric glue kind of doesn't hold the pipe cleaners the way we want it. You can do whatever kind of design you want on there, whatever you feel like would be fun for Robert to trace. So have a blast, you two. Wish I could have seen you today, but hopefully I'll see you on Thursday. Bye, guys.